now that we have the dot product of vectors in our end, we can discuss it in terms of the work done by a force on the displacement vector, or on an object as it moves a certain distance. Um, here, we want to calculate the work done by this constant force where we, all we know about f is that it has magnitude 6 and makes it a 120 degrees angle with a positive x-axis. And we know that the object moves from 1 comma 0 to 2 comma 3. So we want to simplify this a little bit, just so we can make it easier. So saying that f has magnitude 6 and makes a 100, 120 degrees angle with the positive x-axis means that, well, f is going to be well, 6 times the unit vector in that direction. So if you think of 120 degrees from the positive x-axis, that's going to be 1 half comma root 3 over 2. Where I get these by just plugging in, this is cosine of 120 degrees, and then this, I'm sorry, minus. Oof. And then this is sine of 120 degrees. So then d, the displacement vector, is given by 2 comma 3 minus 1 comma 0, which is just going to be 1 comma 3. And finally, we know that the work done by the force on this object as it moves is given by f dot d. So work f dot d. So combining all these things, we just got to take the dot product, which is just going to be this. So 6 minus 1 comma 3. And so. We can keep the scalar off for now. We'll worry about that at the very end. So this is just going to be 6 minus 1 half. And then we add root 3 over 2 plus, or sorry, root 3 over 2 times 3, which is going to be 3 root 3 over 2. And let's move over here. So we can pull out the 1 half. And then we see that this is equal to 3 times minus 1 plus 3 root 3. And then finally pulling the scalar in, we see that this is minus 3 plus 9 root 3. And since we're talking about work, which is Newton meters, this is actually joules as a unit. So. And that's our final answer.